So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going on a ski trip to Utah in two days. I'm going with my dad and we've been going for the past three years. Super excited, super excited, super excited, super excited, super excited. And guess what? I have to pack because you can't just show up to the airport without any luggage. I mean, you can do that if you don't need luggage, but I need luggage. Oh, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a fun day. If you are, that's so amazing. And I don't mean that sarcastically, even though it just sounded really sarcastic. But obviously today's video, it's pack with me for the ski trip. Also, I'm gonna throw in some tips on how to pack, how to travel, just travel tips, I guess. Basically for this, I have to like pack double the amount of outfits because for skiing, you have to bring like your athletic clothes for four days. And then I also have to bring like normal clothes for four days because when I go out to dinner, I don't wanna bring like, I don't wanna be wearing my sweaty clothes got my sweaty workout clothes. Let's check the weather first because then I'll know what to actually pack. First things, picking out the outfits. That's always the hardest because I am very indecisive and can never pick out an outfit very well or quickly. So I just pulled some like leggings out and let's see. I think I'm gonna pack these. These are these Gymshark leggings. I really like these. They fit well and they're high-waisted and they don't fall off and I really like these. I think I'm gonna wear black leggings the next day. Okay, so one of the days I'm gonna wear this set with this top and the Gymshark leggings because this is really cute and I like it and I like making every single place I go to a fashion show. And then I'm gonna wear this set as a second outfit. This is the Set Active brand. I also like this one too. Not sure which one I like better. It kind of just depends. These ones I do find myself having to pull the leggings out more when they fall down. I promise you this is not an active wear review. I'm just rambling on as usual. Outfit three. Okay, so this is how you fold something when you don't like have a flat surface. So you use your chin, go like this, flip it over, smooth this out, smooth this out, and then fold down and boom, perfect. Hashtag things you learn in retail. That was a very helpful life skill and they should teach everybody how to do this in school. So now that I finished like all of the actual like athletic wear stuff and why am I sitting like a five year old? I don't care. Now I'm packing like the clothes that I would wear out to dinner. And everyone's gonna be like, why are you putting so much effort into this? And once again, I make everything into a fashion show. Okay, I'm really feeling blue pants on this trip for some reason. Like not jeans, but like, Blue pants. Also, am I gonna be able to fit all this into my suitcase? We'll have to see because I might not be able to, but it's fine. There we go, I have all the outfits laid out. You know, it only took me like 20 minutes. Normally it takes me a lot longer, so winning that part, I guess. Now I will interrupt your scheduled programming with some plane travel tips. Let's, Let's go. go. Here is my list. I wrote it out just so I would have every single thing down so I would not miss a single, single tip. Also, another comment that I have to make real quick. You know how the like Delta CEO said something about like moving the airplane seats back and stuff and how that was all controversial? Well, here is my opinion and I'm not saying it's right, but I think it's right. <laughs> Basically what I think, I think it's fine for you to move your seat back, I just think you should always give the person behind you a heads up before you move your seat back. And just in case they have something on their tray table or anything, because I always like lean onto my tray table. I've been hit before by someone leaning their seat back without any warning. So I think if you're gonna lean your seat back, just be aware of your surroundings. Like if the person behind you is six, seven or something like that, maybe don't lean your seat back. Or if like the person behind you has a drink on their tray table, takes two seconds to turn around and be like, yo fam, I'm gonna move my seat back. Just to let you know. You know, it's just a common courtesy and that is the tea, sis. But anyway, here are my tips. Make a list of everything you need and just do that before you start packing. You won't forget anything. You're not gonna forget anything and hopefully you don't forget anything. And as I'm saying these words, I'm realizing that I'm gonna need to put pajamas out because I don't think I put pajamas in that pile. Remind me pajamas in five minutes. 
Thanks, Siri. And then always pack an extra pair of shoes. It can just be a little pair of slip-on shoes in case your normal pair of shoes just gets wet because you are not gonna wanna have wet shoes the whole trip. And always, if you have a carry-on suitcase, always put an extra change of clothes into that suitcase or else you're gonna be sorry because one time I didn't do that and I didn't put an extra change of clothes into my suitcase and guess what? My drink spilled everywhere on top of me and I had to change shirts with my my mom it was a huge thing and then another thing is always bring a water bottle an empty water bottle through TSA so then when you get to your gate you can fill up your water bottle because it's really important to stay hydrated on the plane because obviously you're at altitude and some people are like quite sensitive to altitude and getting dehydrated and passing out is not good so drink water friends so as you can see is what I just did is organize your outfits by each day so then you can just pull out your outfit and then you can put it on and then you're ready to go and you don't have to waste time figuring out your outfits. And then bring a power bank, especially on long trips because some places don't have as many power outlets and you don't know when you're not going to be able to charge this thing and sometimes you might need this thing in an emergency. And why did I just like adopt a weird southern accent there for like two seconds? Sorry. Sorry. Then on a long flight or any early morning flight, either choose sleep or caffeine. Don't drink a giant venti Starbucks coffee coffee, triple shot espresso, and then be like, I want to take a nap. Either choose sleep or the caffeine or else your whole everything's gonna be real off. Another thing, wear non-lace, non-metal shoes through TSA or else you're gonna be sorry when you have to spend 10 years trying to take your shoes off and then everyone behind you is like giving you the side eye and they're like, why is not this little girl hurting? And finally, figure out what Netflix show or what Amazon Prime show or what Hulu show or whatever you want to watch on the plane ride. Figure that out while you're still at home or in still at your hotel. And then download it at home and don't download it at the airport because chances are there might not be like free Wi-Fi at the airport so you can't download your shows and then you actually have to read a paperback book. Oh my gosh, that's so hard for everybody. And that's it, sorry. Next thing I have to do, maybe the most important thing, I don't know, but, oh, also do you like these paintings that I did in fifth grade? That's supposed to be me. And look at that, I wrote Hollister on the t-shirt because that was me in fifth grade. Anyway, the thing I have to do now is pick out snacks because it's always good to have snacks while you're on the plane or just in general. This is such a boring snack, but four of these Lara bars, one for each day. There are my snacks. I'm literally on my stomach right now, but it's time to pack the ski equipment. I have the ski bag for the skis, obviously. Basically, my dad and I together are taking one big checked bag and then those two ski checked bags, and then we're each bringing like carry on suitcases. But now I have to try to fit all of our ski boots and helmets and equipment into. This thing right here. Each of these bags has a ski boot in it and the reason I put them in these plastic bags is because they're gonna get a ton of mud on them. So they need to be protected. The key to packing is just like sucking all of the air out of everything. So I got all the ski boots in there and now let's try to get the coats in here too. There we have it so far, looks crammed, very crammed. But I think that's it for this, now I'm gonna go pack my own carry-on. So you know, I got it all into the suitcase. There's just no room for anything else ever, but that's totally fine. I'll survive, I guess. But anyway, I think that's it for packing with me slash travel tips. I don't even know what this video was. Can you tell me? And thanks so much for watching, thanks for your support, thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, comment down below anything you want, and I'll see ya sometime soon, hopefully. Yeah, I will, hopefully, really hopefully. Bye!